laundry tips and tricks. This is another how to make your smell your laundry smell good longer on a budget and remove stains. Okay. Okay. Now, as always, I do have to, you know, tell you. I tell you this on every laundry video to please first. Well, first, sort your clothes. Two, when you load your um your washer, do not over low do not put too many clothes in there it gets you know it makes the machine work harder and it's not even um getting all your clothes clean because it's too many clothes okay um and of course um i did my favorite um how to keep your laundry smelling good longer i'll link that up here um what i do i'll get any detergent um it doesn't necessarily have to be name brand i probably use the arm and hammer well i guess that's name brand right well Typically, I use an arm and hammer. It's rare that I go get like gain and tie, even though they're really, really good. But they're, you know, a little for some may be expensive. I'm trying to give you other ways to make your clothes be clean and smell good on a budget. Okay. So for me, um, I load my washer. Um, I do not overload. Um, so I um, add my detergent, and then for me. <clears throat> For me, I put in my Swatel fabric softener, the blue kind, my favorite. I do have others as well, but I put in actually two part of fabric softener to do my laundry. Um, I put it in with the, um, when I add it to the, um, when I do my um, laundry detergent, I put fabric softener in there and I also put in a little ball that releases it at, um, at a certain time during the washing. Um, process so two times clothes will smell fresh for months and I'm not just saying that for months you can smell this smell at my door you either smell bleach I know I said this before or you smell um, Mr. Clean or some type of clean plus this fabric softener and the fabric and the fabric softener smell amazing amazing okay so in this video, this video follow the same steps to make your clothes smell good longer um, and also for this to remove stains now this product I'm going I have many ways to remove stains uh, my mother and grandma is from the country so we they know how to do everything so cook make soap when I look at YouTube I just it just reminds me of me growing up these, these are just things that your parents, your mother and your grandmother taught you as a child. And now it's just on YouTube for those that maybe didn't have those experiences, but I'm grateful that I did. So I would like to share some of the things uh, from cooking to cleaning, which I hate cooking. My grandma was the best cook, but I hate cooking. Um, but yeah, my mother and my grandma could do it all because they were from the country. But for this video, um, I'm gonna show you a fast way to remove stains using a product that everybody have in their home, okay? And it is peroxide, yep. So peroxide is good to have, you know, for scrapes and, you know, things that, you know, children get as well as myself. It, Peroxide is used for many other re many other uses other than you know first aid. So in for this video, it will be used for removing stains. So all you have to do to remove stains is to um, get at two part peroxide, one part um, Dawn detergent. Now you could if it's just a small stain, you just want to set. Or you just want to, you know, you have children, um, you just want to mix up that solution, two part um, peroxide and one part um, Dawn solution. You mix in a glass, stir it up really well, and pour it over the um, item. Now it's just for a little dot on a on a garment. You just dab it with a swab or one of those those cotton rounds. Um, on that material. Now, of course, if you see any transfer of color, do not use it. But typically, 
you can use peroxide on your clothes. So what you do is just mix up that solution, pour it over the stain, let it sit and soak, let the um, solution soak into the material. If you can do it um, overnight, that's fine, or you can just a good 10, 15 minutes, that's fine as well too. It's just the longer the solution sits, the longer the solution sits on the um, garment, the better it'll be, okay? So just let that go and then toss that into the washer as, you know, wash as usual, wash your clothes as normal, and then all stains will be uh, removed. Um, so good add into your laundry because it brightens whites. Um, you could just put like, put this in the cycle and um, add this to the washer when you're um, putting in your fabric softener, your laundry detergent, and if you want to do, add this, um, just to brighten clothes. You know, this is a substitute for bleach. You know, um, bleach is really good. It is necessary for a certain um, items, but when you don't want to bleach, um, you know, bleach will remove color from items and you know, this has the same um, cleaning, um, removal of germs. This has the same power, just like bleach itself. It doesn't, it's not as harsh on garments as bleach is, okay? So yeah, so this is a good item. It doesn't cost that much. You can just go to your local store, Walmart, Target, Kroger, and pick this up. And um, yeah, so... Again, thanks for stopping by my channel. I just want to give you another helpful, another helpful tip to um, do laundry. Um, I know everyone's budget isn't the same, um, so I try to give you different ways to do things, um, whether it's cleaning, laundry, little shortcuts in cooking, because I'm a wife and mother of four. I do not like cooking. At all, I would I would prefer to clean a, t a house top to bottom with a toothbrush before I would before I would cook. But can I cook? Yes. Are my dishes um, tasty? Yes. So I just try to give you different ideas and ways to do things. Again, thanks for stopping by my channel. See you soon.